So guys, Mercedes-Benz has introduced two new trim levels for its new EQA electric crossover ahead of customer deliveries beginning in the coming months. Previously, the electric version of the GLA was only available in the 44,495 pounds EQA 250 trim, which produces 188 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque at the front axle, but now there are two four-wheel drive options with more power. The new EQA 304 Modich, which starts at 48,495 pounds, adds a second motor to the rear axle for a combined output of 225 bhp, while the top-of-the-range EQA 350, which starts at 49,995 pounds, boosts the total output to 288 horsepower. Each comes in three trim levels, AMG Line, AMG Line Premium, and AMG Line Premium Plus, and shares the same 66.5 kWh battery pack as the entry-level car, allowing for a 264-mile range. Cruise Control, a reversing camera, adaptive high beam assist, a multifunction sports steering wheel, and a raft of driver aids are standard on the entry-level car, while AMG Line adds bespoke styling elements, 20-inch alloy wheels, artificial leather sports seats, and aluminium interior trim. The front-wheel drive EQA 250 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds, but the two new models reduce that time to 7.7 .7 and 6.0 seconds, respectively. With a WLTP range of 265 miles promised, the battery capacity is 66.5 kWh, usable. A longer range variant with a claimed 311 mile range will arrive later. According to the manufacturer, a maximum DC charging rate of 100 kW is possible, allowing for an 80% charge in about 30 minutes. It can go from empty to full in under 6 hours with an 11 kW AC charge. Let's talk about the exterior design and cabin of EQA. The EQA is one of six EQ models set to debut by 2022, including a seven-seat EQB that will sit directly above the EQA. The EQA is based on the latest GLA crossover and has a number of unique styling details that set it apart from its conventionally powered sibling. The now iconic EQ radiator grille, as well as unbroken lighting strips at the front and rear, are among them. A fiber optic strip runs across the front fascia, connecting the standard full LED headlights. The taillights merge as a single-piece light bar at the back, thanks to a completely different tailgate design than the GLA, which moves the number plate down to the bumper. These features, according to Mercedes, provide a high level of recognizability both in daylight and at night. Wheel designs that aren't available on standard Mercedes models are also available in sizes up to 20 inches. These are bi-color or tri-color designs, with rose gold or blue detailing on some of them. A low drag coefficient of 0.28 improves aerodynamics and, as a result, range. The digital instrument cluster has been redesigned for EV-specific display functions and includes rose gold and blue accents, as is customary. Mercedes claims that the EQA offers an SUV's desired high driving position as well as a focus on versatility. In the terms of technology, the EQA also differs from its GLA sibling in terms of technology. Climate preconditioning functions are controlled via the MBUX infotainment system or the multi-function Mercedes Me app, which includes a heat pump that reuses waste heat from the electric drivetrain. There is also a standard electric intelligence navigation function. It uses range simulations to allow for necessary charging stops and accounts for changes in topography, weather, traffic, and driving style in addition to calculating the fastest route. It can even preheat or cool the battery while driving to ensure that it is at the proper temperature for rapid charging. All EQ customers have access to the Mercedes Me charging network, which has 450,000 charging points spread across 31 countries. Active Lane Keeping Assist and Active Brake Assist are standard safety features, but the Enhanced Driving Assistance Package adds a number of additional Active Alert functions and Assist features, including a warning that detects pedestrians near a zebra crossing. So that's it for today, if you found this video informative then you can give a like to this video. And also you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Till then wear a seatbelt, helmet, and drive safe. We will meet in next video.